University. I'm your host, Ashad Rashid, and on today's and on today's show, I invited Mohammed Kamal to tell us about Angular JS data binding. Hello, Mohammed Kamal. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Sharia. I'm really excited to be here. So, like Sharia said uh, on today's episode, we will cover the Angular JS data binding. So, for those of you uh, who are new, what Angular JS is? It's a data binding in Angular JS, so you can use that to synchronize between the model and the view. So there is what we call MVC, the model, view, and controller. So in your model and view controller, what is binding between your model and view is the, the data binding. So using that data binding, you can synchronize. You can synchronize. I have a uh, piece of code over here. We'll go over that one later, but let's just let me just give you that background information here and what the data binding is, how we can use that. So Angular JS applications usually have a data model. And the model is it's it's just a simple of collection of data available for a given application. That's what we call it. And when it come to the view, Let's say this is uh, this this specially starting here the script var app angular that model my app app controller my controller function scope scope dot first name scope dot last name that's what we call the data model that's where you have the uh, available this is available for a given application okay it's a it's a data model and it's a collection of data. It's a collection of data like first name right there and last name right there so those are available for a given application then how can you bind this one to a view awesome so when it comes to the view one you can use the html view so in that case the html is a container where the angular JS application is displayed that what we call it the view so over here i have a piece of HTML uh, div in a div then I have energy app my app energy controller my controller energy bind this is a very important uh, binding here energy bind first name so the first name what I have right here is on the scope I have first name last name so since I have the first name right here the first name will appear on this P, which is the paragraph, will uh, appear if I run this code, this piece of code. So using that HTML. So you can use energy bind directive. So what I use right here is use the energy bind directive, which will bind the inner HTML, okay? The inner HTML of the element to the specific model property. That's the model property we have and we bind it. So that's how we can uh, use using the HTML view. Let's go ahead and give it some first name. And the first name I will use, for example, let's go ahead and use Asharia. And then I have last name here, Doe. Then with that, if I run this one, if I run this one, I will have Asharia. So Asharia, it's come up is because of the HTML view. So that means the NG bind. NG bind first name is just calling, bring out for you the data, which is a collection of data that you have. And this, uh, the one we have right here, we used NG binding directive to bind the inner HTML of the elements, a property in the data model. So within this data model, we have used that NG bind to bring the view. Okay, that's what is an important part when you talk about the Angular, Angular, uh, Angular just in general. So, which is really important to know Angular, especially if you are working on ServiceNow to be a ServiceNow developer, you can definitely. Uh, that's really helpful. There is another way actually. You can also use a double press. So, a double press. That's another way of. Uh, with double press, so you can use. This double press to bring your to display your content from the model. That's another way of okay. One is you can use energy bind, and the other one is a double press. In some interview question, you might be asked, or you may be asked in the future, what is a double press? 
in Angular JS. So the answer, simple and clear answer is a double press is to display your content from your model. Okay, you have the model and you can display your content using the double press. So let me show you how we can do that. How we can do that. Let's go ahead and see here. I'm gonna use another P, another paragraph, just P, and with that, I will use first name. Then I will use the double press. And then here, I'll write the first name. And gotta close that. And that's a paragraph. I have to close the paragraph too. All right, first. Thank you for that correction, Asharia. First, first name, I have that. Let's go ahead and run this one. So we have now Asharia, that's the first name the paragraph first name and then within that the double press double press we have got a sharia okay so we got here as well so two times the first one doesn't have what that, that here is but what we got here is first name da, 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 sharia so at least we learn two ways to uh, bring the data from your model okay from your model to bring the data in your view, binding that you think synchronously. So we have got that one. So the double press, or we can use the energy model directives on the HTML controller to bind the model. Great, so using the energy model directive to bind your data from the model to the view using your HTML controller, you can just use the input and select and text area. So that's another way of doing this third way let's go ahead and see that one so what i have right here is i have the inputs okay energy model and i have first name let's close it and if i run that i've got a sharia right there Okay, so that's another way. Uh, still, I am using the inputs, and that's energy model. I have the first name right there. Okay, so because it's an input, so because you can write some name over there as well. So that's another way of the directive provides a two way binding between the model and the view. So, what did this mean? It that you can use a two way binding. So, if you want to use that one, you can use a two way binding. All right, so two-way binding. So if you wanna use a two-way binding, you can use inputs, inputs, and then energy model, you have the first name right there. Then if you run, you will have that Asharia right there. So that's another way of using the energy model. Great. When it comes to the data binding in AngularJS, it's a synchronous between the model and the view. Okay, you have the model, and then the view, that's the model and that's your view. When the data in the model change, if your data change, for example, I have a Sharia right there and if that data change, the view reflect that change. And when the data in the view change, that means here, when the data in the view change, the model is updated as well. This happens immediately and automatically when, uh, which makes sure that the model and the view is updated at all. Like we said earlier, it is a synchronization between the model and the view. Whenever you change the view, okay, uh, if you wanna change, when you change the view, it will update the model and the model will update the view. Okay, that will happen synchronously. Okay, that will appear synchronously. Great. And for that, like I said earlier, we can use the input energy model. So with that, you can update both the model and the view whenever you are changing the data uh, on, on each side. So AngularJS controller, the application in AngularJS are controlled by the controller. 
So like I said earlier at the beginning, we have the model view controller, MVC. So the controller C, because so far we have touched the model and the view, right, the shadi? The model yes. and the view. The now, view and the view. What do we, why do we have the controller? Because of the immediate synchronization yeah, the of the model and the view. Exactly. The controller can be completely separated from the view and simply concentrate on the modal data. Exactly. Yes. That's why we have the controller. So the controller is where we can have that. And all of them are in separate, but they are in synchronous. The controller can be completely separated from the view. And simply, we can concentrate on the model data. Thanks to the data binding in Angular, yes, a view will reflect any change model made in the controller. So whatever change you made in the controller, you can um, make that happen. Great. So that's what we have for today. For more videos, uh, you can uh, subscribe to our channel. We'll have uh, more updates, more uh, tutorials will come in Angular just in the future. In today's episode, we have covered the model viewing controller. That's really helpful, especially if you are working on ServiceNow or any Angular applications. My name is Mohammed Kamal. And my name is Shadar Rashid. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you.